In this video, I will show you how you can create the same style out of one style to generate different images using the exactly same style. We are going to use glyph.app to do this. If you don't know the glyph app, you can watch my previous video where I have explained exactly how to use glyph app. If you go to glyph.app, this is the glyph that I have created. And as you can see, they have now limited the daily generation to 85. So again, if you go to the home page, you can see that there is an, a Chrome extension available. If you press on it, you will be directed to install the extension to your Chrome browser. I have it already installed. That's why I I have the remove the from Chrome sign, but you should see install to your Chrome. After installing the Glyph extension, you will be able to copy any of the images that is available on your browser. For example, if we check this image and click on the right mouse click, we will see the Glyphit option now visible. Once we press on it, a new window will appear on the right side with the image that we have chosen. And now we can see that there is a drop down menu with different available options or styles that we can use using the Griffith. The first one, the Style Hunter, is the one that we are looking for for our print on demand. And also the last one, which is the Style Hunter with latent ups upscale. These are the two options that we're going to use to create similar style out of our image. So again, right click and press on Glyphit and you will have the main image as your source and you can enter the prompt in the prompt window. So now let's use this image that I have created using this prompt, also in the Flux Pro Glyph. And we're going to use the Style Hunter option with latent upscale and we will enter in the prompt window some prompt to see how the glyph is going to generate i'm going to write a t-shirt design of a cool cat wearing sunglasses and now the the glyph app is generating the image based on the style of the source image that we have it will take about 50, 20 seconds and the new image will be generated. And now we have a cat image that is generated using the same style of the original image. And by the same style, it, it means that it generates the image using the exact colors and the exact style, which is vector style with strong lines. The Glyphit Chrome extension also enables us to remix the image, upscale the image, remove the background, or even remix the source image. So let's work on another prompt, a dog holding a glass, wearing sunglasses. And again, the same result. It's uh, taking exactly the exact style with the exact colors, as you can see. Even the background is using the same colors. And you can remove the background from the image using the the back the remove background option, and this will remove the the background on the glyph. And once ready, you can download the image from the download. Uh, button just simply save as to your laptop and that's it again glyph it and this time I'm changing the style to least 
the style hunter with latent upscale the previous one was uh, using the first option just want to compare the difference between the two results and again we have an image that is using the same style of the original image with the same colors two, two important tips text is not the best um, thing to use with the, the prompt when you enter the prompt in the Glyphit section and you can you don't need to enter a long prompt because it's try it, it tries to take the original uh, prompt as a reference so let's try another image using the same style hunter with latent upscale I'm going to write uh, death reaper just as simple as, as that and press on the glyphit button again the result is a re an image that has uh, the exact style the exact colors as you can see the mix of, of colors and style which is amazing and you also can save your image as png and upscale it and remove the background as you like this works by, by the way this works on any image of on your browser so it doesn't have to be an image that is upscaled or that is generated using the glyph app you can open uh, you can open any image using your google and glyph it and use the same process to create a similar style so this is how the glyph it style reference works and this time i'm taking a prompt from ideogram but I will remove most of the prompt text. I'll just need to keep the Buzz Light year from Toy Story tunes. There is no need to add all of the rest, all the rest of the details because I'm using the image, the other image as a reference. So there is no need to enter all of that. So let me remove all of this text here and press on the glyph it and again the result is the buzz light here who is within the same theme and the color concept of the source image so that was it for this video if you enjoyed the video please hit the like button and subscribe for more print on demand and design tutorials thanks for watching